Hi, and welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the part transfer command within the Top Solid 7 CAM environment. This command has been improved in version 713 or the 2019 release of Top Solid 7. So, before we get started, I'm just going to show you the few operations we have here. I just threw a couple in here. Okay, so I'm going to turn down the face. Then, because I like using the B axis, I rotate it to some weird angle because I can and rough the tool that way. I'm going to switch tools here to a neutral tool. I'm going to bring that in, finish the part. Okay, so now it's time for transfer. Now, before you transfer, there's a couple things you need to do. First, we need to have the part transferred over to here. Okay, so that's a reposition. So let's go to, or pardon me, additional, and go to part reposition. Let's select our part. It's going to be in the same document because we're just putting it on the other spindle, another fixture, right? So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to mate it with my z-axis of my subspindle, but you could mate it with the chuck face, the z-axis of the main spindle, doesn't really matter. I'm going to use the front face of my part there to my jaw face because with this, I'm going to go ahead and apply the offset to how far I'm going to hold this part by when I grab onto it. So I'm going to say it's inch and a half. Flip my constraint there. You could have put a negative two. It's up to you. Lastly, I'm going to orient this part because, well, it's got some milling features on it, so therefore it needs to be oriented to be like it was on the main spindle. So now we're good. Go ahead and validate my positioning group there. That's going to be on the sub spindle and green check. So that's step one complete. Let's hit save. From here, we're going to go ahead and come up here and we're going to switch back to the machining stage. This drives all toolpath over here. This drives all toolpath over here. So let's go to our machining stage. We're going to come back and focus here. And now we're going to start our part transfer. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to virtual jog. For those of you who've never used virtual jog, uh, think of virtual jog as chocolatey goodness full of steroids. Uh, it's basically like going to MDI on your machine, only you have real-time simulation at the same time. It's really cool. So to begin with, uh, like I did in my bar pull video, if you haven't seen that yet, check that out on YouTube too. I'm going to come up here and say that the rotating element is going to be the part. From there, I need a WCS. Again, I'm going to create this one on the fly like I did in my uh, bar pull video. I'm going to create this on a frame. My frame, in this case, is going to be my origin. My position constraint can be my origin point, that's fine. Uh, the tool holder is going to be the subspindle, and the part in question is going to be machine part one. That's super important. We want to drive part one with this zero. Now, I'm going to come into here, and I'm going to call this part transfer frame. You could call it PTF, you could call it transfer framing, call it whatever you want, just so you know what it is. And click OK. So now I have my part transfer frame. Now I can come up here, set some, uh, some speeds and feeds. I want the RPM, the RPM to be 500 because I want the spindle spinning. And if I need a feed rate, I want it at 25 inches a minute. Perfect. Now, let's set up the movements. Very first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come into here, and I'm going to go to Approach, uh, pardon me, to Hold Release Part. And I want to make sure that my subspindle jaws are open. So I'm going to do that. Now, Depending on your machine, this may take two seconds, it may take five seconds, it may take one second, it may be super fast and not worth worrying about. Um, but let's say you need to put a dwell in there, so I'm going to do a delay of maybe five seconds. Now, I'm going to go to the approach to hold part. Now, when I approach to hold part, if I look at this and zoom out, I'm, going, I'm driving this point here, which is the mounting face of your chuck to the subspindle. In our machine definitions, we choose to drive by that point because we know you're likely going to change the chuck, the jaws, everything. So this whole stack height is going to change from job to job potentially. So here's how you deal with it. This top level is the rapid movement. This bottom level is the feed movement to hold the part. So here, I want to calculate my rapid off of the front of the part here. I'm going to select that edge. That's to the center point. Now, if I just said OK to this, and green check mark, it's going to rapid, 
and it's going to put, again, my zero point of my mounting face of my subspindle there, right on that point, which is great if you want to break your machine. We don't want to do that. So we have a shift command down here. This is what allows you to drive any type of chuck combination, jaw, whatever that you have here. But you need to know what the distance from that point is to the point you want to drive by. Now, I didn't measure it beforehand. I didn't build this machine. I didn't put that chuck on this machine. I have no idea where it is. But I have no fear. We can go to the analysis tab and go measure right while we're in the middle of this command. So I'm going to measure a distance. Zoom up a little bit. I'm going to use rotative selection. That's holding my right or left button down, tapping my right until I get the point I want there, selecting through all possibilities. I'm going to zoom up and I'm going to grab this point here. This gives me the measurements right here. The distance here is the direct distance from point A to point B. Then you have the delta distances relative to X, Y, and Z. It's this number that we want, but we can't select the number here. However, if you come over here, and this might be minimized on your top solid, all of this is selectable text. So I can take this, right click, and copy, or Control C. So now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come here to my shift, and I'm gonna shift by that value. But if I do that, it's gonna drive that face in rapid right up to that face. And you know, that's a little too close for me in rapid. So I'm gonna say that value plus a clearance factor of one inch. Then I'm gonna do similar things down here. I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna say I'm driving by that same point. And here I'm gonna paste that value again and I'm going to hold it by that inch and a half that we put the part into the jaws of the subspindle by. Okay? And that last movement is gonna be in feed. If I hit green check, now you can see everything's in its proper position. Okay? So now that we're here, let's grab onto the part. So I'm gonna go here, go to hold release part. I wanna hold on the subspindle. Give ourselves a little delay. Of course, now that the subspindle has it, I can go to hold release part again. And I want to release on the main spindle. Give it a little delay. Okay. And finally, I'm going to do part transfer. And that's it. And watch what happens. If I zoom out now, I can go and run the simulation. Here comes my part, or my subspindle, pardon me. Grabs that, brings it back. Life is good. Okay? And then you can just start programming on the subspindle. For example, just to throw it out there, I'm going to go up here, change to my remachining stage, or just select the face to machine. It'll do it. If I go to roughing, and I go grab a turning operation real quick. No, I don't want that tool. Let's go grab this tool instead. That's perfect, except we don't have this in the right position. I want to show that like that. If I go to my uh, WCS and comments here, Watch what happens. So I turned on the preview of this. So if I go here, notice that just rotated that. So that's the angle I want. I'm going to go there. You now will have toolpath over there, and off you go. And if we go simulate, you'll see this come down, does its thing, and off you go. So that's how part transfer works in Top Solid. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check back soon for more.